It's the desire and the passion to begin with. And if you have that, that's the biggest tool to just take you to the next level and take you through all of the hurdles that you have to obviously deal with. The, the way I look at it, if you have that, like I said, that basic desire at the very beginning, you have early goals, uh, you'll find a way. You know, when you're dreaming and you're setting your goals, I don't want to be, you know, middle of the field. You want to go to the top. And that's whoever's at the top is the big inspiration. That's the way it was with me. When I'm coming through the ranks, you know, I'm saying, okay, who's the guy now? That's the guy to beat. That's who you go after. When I broke into the midgets, the ARDC midgets, it was so tough. And uh, some of the tracks where it was even hard to qualify, uh, Dutch Schaefer was the guy. I mean, he was the icon of midget racing. And, you know, as soon as we got in practice, boom, that's why we go behind and see what he's doing, how he's doing. If I'm keeping up with him, oh, you know, things are looking good. Uh, when I broke into Formula One, who was the guy really that was doing a lot of the winning was Jackie Stewart. And so if you can beat Jackie Stewart, you know, you're doing something. When I got into uh, Indy cars, it was A.J. Foyt, you know, it was Parnelli Jones. Yeah. But, they, you know, there was always somebody that uh, if you can deal with that person, you're somewhere. Then you pretty much say, uh, okay, I'm arriving. I have not arrived, but I'm arriving. One thing I found that you cannot teach somebody to go fast. They have to have that inside in their belly. But you can teach somebody to be safer, to be cleaner, to be this and that. The only area that uh, an experienced driver uh, can be valuable to uh, a youngster, somebody that starts, is to try to minimize the mistakes. Because here's the luxury. I look back at my career, if, uh, if if I had the experience that I had today at the very beginning, can you imagine, you know, how much better it would have been? When I had a tendency to take quite a bit out of the car, you know, because I just want to be up front. That was my style. I think my style today would have worked better than it worked then, quite honestly. Um, I think in, in some of the decades, some of the situations, there's sort of a little bit of patience to wait and see, which I didn't have. You know, I could name a few drivers that collected, you know, after I <laughs> was on my way home. Uh, but it is what it is. I mean, they, they still have the number to show for. But uh, again, uh, if maybe I was born a little bit too early, personally, you know, but uh, I, I just, I had to go out there and I just had to lead sometimes. And, and, and I should have been more patient. I'll admit that I always will, you know, that I, probably would have paid off in some areas, you know, but uh, uh, that was, you know, that was my style. And I always say, you know, haste makes waste. If you're sawing at the wheel and all that, I think you're going sideways rather than forward type of thing. So I think a certain degree of precise, you know, driving and, uh, and clean driving pays you off. And that's something that you develop yourself by the seat of your pants. And, uh, and a lot of time, like I said, just to make noise through the corner is not just really probably the fastest way to get around. Get on power early and decisively. It's not how fast you go into the corner, it's how fast you come out of the corner. And that's something that uh, it's very basic. And uh, it's so easy to forget that because uh, sometimes you, you get so uh, caught up in a situation, I'm not hustling enough, and you just go in there, and it takes you a half hour to gather the car up before you exit. You gotta be clean, you know? And, uh, and, and again, but you develop your own style. You gotta feel what it takes to just go forward, to lunge forward. Don't, you know, waste the energy. As I said earlier, um, you cannot teach kids to go fast. It's either there or it's not. And I've seen that over and over. And um, so you can only smooth them down. If, if, if anything, the kid that really has got a future when you have to slow them down at the very beginning. You know, they're trying too hard and this and that. They say, they're fast. So you say, okay, just cool down a little bit. You'll be fine. Those are the kids that are going to bring you championships.